Hello and welcome. Want to manage your time well in Excel? You are at the right place. Hi, I am Colonel Yogesh Kalra. I am going to do a series of videos on the time management bestseller, Make Time. The book says that there are four vital ingredients of time management. Ingredient one is called the highlight. Highlight is simply the goal of the day. It is the one thing that you are going to focus on and complete during the day. All other activities are going to be subordinated to the achievement of this goal or completion of this task. Ingredient two is called the laser or in other words, intense and deliberate focus. While highlight is what you intend to do, laser is how you intend to do it. As you go about your day, you are going to be pulled in various directions by people, gadgets and your own lack of focus. Such distractions are part and parcel of work. The art lies in eliminating them where we can and minimizing the ones which cannot be eliminated. So laser tactics will ensure that as we go about our day, we don't lose sight of our chosen highlight. Ingredient 3 is called the energize. The energized tactics prepare our minds as well as our bodies to deal with the rigors of life by right physical activity and diet. While laser tactics are the short term how, energized tactics are the long term how of time management. In other words, while laser ensures that we have a distraction free day, energized prepares us for a distraction free life. Energized tactics ensure that the optimal use of that most precious asset called time becomes a way of life for us. Ingredient 4 is called the reflection. This step is about evaluating our progress, a system of personal feedback which will inform us as to how we are doing in highlight, laser and energized departments and then readjust if required. The book gives a grand total of 87 tactics for optimizing the four ingredients that is highlight, laser, energize and reflect. But the most important thing is this, do not get overwhelmed as we go through them. Not all 87 tactics are for everyone. Perhaps you will find only 7 which will solve 90% of your time issues. Perhaps you will find that a particular tactic is useful but instead of adopting it completely, you would like to adopt it partly. Let me give you my own example. The book suggests that we should not have any apps on the home screen of our mobile phone so that we don't open them unless we really need to. I didn't want to do something so radical, but I found that I could accommodate all my useful apps on one screen. The apps on the second and the third screen could stay inside the drawer. Just this simple step has allowed me to save at least 15 minutes every day without creating any feeling at all of inconvenience. However, when I shared it with my wife, she rightly pointed out that she did not need this tactic. Why? Because she was already using the apps only when she absolutely needed to. So please treat our journey through these tactics like a visit to an apparel store. Just pick up the clothes that you like and ignore the rest. Hopefully the ones you ignore will fit someone else. But I can guarantee one thing from personal experience. Each tactic that you do adopt will make you a better, more efficient and more wholesome version of yourself. At the outset, saving 15 minutes per day may seem no big deal. But as with money, the impact of saving time compounds over time. And then, as you successfully adopt a couple of tactics and notice their positive impact, I am sure you will be motivated to pick up more from the menu. The idea is not to achieve perfection, but to optimize time that you spend achieving meaningful results for yourself, your organization and your family. Before we go further, a humble request from my side. Please subscribe, like and share. It's a new channel friends, need your help to make it work. Thank you. Great, so we have identified highlight, laser, energize and reflection as four ingredients of effective time management. But the question arises, should time management be a default activity? Why should managing time require an elaborate plan at all? The answer to these questions lies in the good old 80-20 rule. Unknown to us, 80% of our meaningful results are created in only 20% of our time. Unless we are deliberate about our time, the remaining 80% of it is almost wasted or spent in extremely low value activities. But the question is, where is this 80% low value time disappearing? 
The answer is that each day our time is hijacked by two powerful forces. These forces are one, busy bandwagon and two, infinity pools. Let us look at them one by one. The busy bandwagon is a state of being constantly busy. Think about it. Say you are evaluating as to what you accomplished today at work. For this evaluation, what are the kind of questions that you should be asking yourself? Should they be? What did I accomplish today? Did I add value to the organization or to the people I am working with? Did I have a plan for the day and did I execute it well? Or should, they, should you be asking yourself the question such as, how many meetings did I attend today? How many presentations did I make with fancy looking graphics? Obviously, the first set of questions are the only ones that make sense. They indicate how much time we utilized. The second set indicates how much time we destroyed, not only our own, but also of others who attended the pointless meetings set up by us. The second set of questions are a sign of the busy bandwagon. Have you heard statements such as, I have back-to-back -back meetings for next four hours, or I haven't been able to respond to my mail for past 10 days, or I haven't had my lunch in peace for a month now. These statements are worn as badges of honor, but I am a firm belief that at best they are a sign of inefficiency and at worst these statements are misleading and point to a widespread disease called corporate bragging. Coming to the infinity pools, if busy bandwagon is our response to other people, infinity pool is our response to technology. In 1606, Shakespeare wrote this about Macbeth's life. It's a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. This is an accurate description of infinity pools of today. Whether it is Facebook or Instagram or YouTube or news apps, infinity pools flood us with endless stream of information 24-7. Only a tiny fraction of this information adds value to our lives, while the rest subtracts both time and value. The art of time management lies in ensuring that these infinity pools remain your servants and don't become your masters. It is Instagram that remains at your beck and call and not you who remain at Instagram's beck and call. To conclude, three takeaways from today's video are Number one, we are losing a lot of our time to busy bandwagons and infinity pools which have become deeply embedded in our life at both home and work. Number two, we can minimize friction created by busy bandwagons and infinity pools by four ingredients of time management, which are highlight, laser, energize, and reflect. And number three, the book gives scores of time management tactics. Adopt the ones that appeal to you and ignore the rest. The aim is not perfection, but improvement. In the next video, we'll start by understanding what highlight is and how we choose it. Until then, Take care and be well.